Good morning everyone and welcome back to Home with Mrs K. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. I am Gemma and if you guys have been with me before, thank you for coming back and watching. I have a haul for you guys again today. Um, various different shops actually. Um, so I've got some Christmas buys to show you from Hobbycraft. I've also got a couple of little Halloween kind of bits from B&M. And I also have a few little odds and sods from Primark that I do want to show you. And talking of Primark, I do want to show you guys this jumper. I went to Primark last week and got a couple of bits and pieces and I just completely forgot to do a haul. And this was one of the things that I really, really wanted to show you that I got from Primark. So it's a Wizard of Oz jumper. Isn't it cute? So you've got all the characters there in rainbow colour. And then when you turn around, it's got like, rainbow writing on the back and it says um, it doesn't matter who you no it doesn't matter where you go it's who you meet along the way and i just love it and i got it in primark and it was originally 18 pounds and i got it reduced to a fiver which was really really good it is a man's jumper though it was in the men's section but i thought you know what i could still wear it you know it doesn't have to just be for men it's really comfy it's really really lovely and i love it for a fiver i've literally had it on for like so many days now I just it's so cozy and lovely um so yeah good bargain there I got so I don't know what I want to start with first do I want to start with the Christmas bits or should we start with <clears throat> no let's let's go with the Christmas bits so I'm gonna go with what I got from Hobbycraft so I've got these in there guys so these little kind of wooden things that would hang on the Christmas tree or you can hang them up as decoration. So they are wood, which is great. So you can kind of paint them to whatever color you would like to paint them. So this is like the Christmas truck that you guys can see. And then there's the tree there. These were 50 pence each, so I got two of those. And I'm probably gonna paint one red for the front room. And I might even paint this one white because I've never seen the um, Christmas truck in white and I've always wanted a white one. So. I might take that white, so I thought that's really, really nice for 50p. And we'll make a nice bit of decoration. Then I've got these in there, which I believe were also 50p as well. Just these little cute stocking horses. You get to paint them yourself. However, I'm not going to paint them. Actually, um, I am going to leave these white. But I was thinking maybe just like painting the saddle red or something like that to hang on the tree. Or otherwise I might just leave them white because I know what my painting's like. I'll end up ruining the horse and I'll be really gutted. So I might just leave them white actually. But I thought they were really nice for 50p. As you guys know, I'm kind of doing like a toy shop Christmas this year. So I thought the rocking horses would be absolutely perfect. And if you do want to put them on your tree, you can just cut off the piece of string and they'll easily stand up. Um, on the side or on the table. Then I've got some these really, really cute tops. I love these. Got, this is the red one. So I've got two of the red. I just love these little buckets. They're so cute. I don't actually know what I'm going to put in them. I haven't really thought about it yet, but I just thought they would be so cute either on the dinner table or on um, kitchen windowsill to like little herbs in or little plants or you can even put them in the bathroom with like little bits in cotton wool um toothbrush toothpaste on your sink just to have that little bit of christmasy feel with the red bucket so many things there's, there's so many things that you could do with these um they were 50p each so i've got two of the red and then i've got two of a um, light color and then you can also use these for um, Valentine's Day as well. So it's not just Christmas, so you're getting two uses out of these. If you do decorate your home for like Valentine's stuff, um, yeah, that'd be good to put around handy. What else did I get? I got some sticker sheets, which I really want to show you. I might have to bring these up closer to show you guys. I absolutely love these sticker sheets. They're so lovely. I'm going to bring them closer so you guys can see how lovely they are. So this is the first one. How pretty are these? It's like a proper kind of Buffalo American Christmas, these stickers, which is why I love it. I love that theme. 
really 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 love it so i got i think i got two or three of these i got one i got three of these so i got three of these same packs and these are a pound a pack so what i'm planning to do with these is wrap up some christmas presents in brown paper like the parcel paper put a nice piece of ribbon through the middle and then stick like one of these stickers in the top corner just to make the gift look a little bit more festive and a little bit more pretty and just kind of yeah just have that really nice vintage feel when i do the um christmas wrapping this year so yeah really really chuffed with these and i just love it look the little cup and the barn and this stocking is my favorite like the buffalo print absolutely love that um and then i've got this sticker sheet which is just really really cute as well and again i'm going to be using this for the same reason stick on presents i just think they're so cute aren't they so so cute um again that was a pound as well these stickers were also a pound had to get these ones i'm trying desperately to find like loads of nutcracker stuff this year um because i think i did i did mention before how i'm going to be doing christmas morning for the kids once i've wrapped all the presents up i'm trying to stick to a nutcracker theme so this is probably going to go on some presents as well just to add a bit more decoration some um, lilac ribbon but that's not for Christmas that's actually for Jessica's birthday. Hobby Craft have some really nice ribbon in actually and it's always like one pound so I thought that was really really good. You can get 15 meters which is quite good for a pound and loads of different colours green, reds, oranges, blacks, beige, white I think and as well so if you do want Christmas ribbon Hobby Craft is actually a good place to go. Um, and then they've got this, which I think is really, really cute. I absolutely love it. I bought this for my um, tiered like tray. You guys know how I decorate my tray. So as it's like mini, it's a miniature, I thought it would be absolutely perfect to go on the tray for some decorations. Again, it's wooden, so if you wanted to, you can paint the outside of the box. But I'm probably, I'm probably going to keep it wood. I actually like it for wood colour. So, and this was only two pounds which i think is really really nice you can pop that on your shelf or even by your bedside or just get them for the kids let the kids paint them and put them in their bedrooms so they can count, count down the days the day so they can count down the days to christmas and then yeah i just got these little bits and bobs i don't know if you guys can see from there but we'll have to come closer so I got these so these are card toppers for like when you decorate christmas cards how cute are they little cute red envelopes i absolutely love them and then i think there's some white ones at the back as well and you get eight in there and these were a pound so again i'm going to be using these for decoration or popping them onto christmas gifts just to make them look prettier and that's why i got the nutcrackers again these are going to be put onto some presents as well but there's so many different things you can do with these isn't there so so many and then i got these santa ones which i love i love the santa ones these ones i actually bought to put on some christmas crackers so this year i'm going to buy some plain christmas crackers some cheap christmas crackers and then i'm going to be sticking these on the middle of the cracker so that i've got santa ones because that's the theme i'm going to have for christmas eve this year um, I actually did this last year, so I bought like red truck um, card pop toppers and I actually stuck them on the Christmas crackers because it's impossible to find like the red truck Christmas crackers. So I made my own and I thought it was a really, really good idea. Um, and then I just got these little red wooden hearts and the white ones as well, which I thought was super, super cute. You get, how much you get in there? It's 35 in there for a pound, which is really, really cheap. And again, because they are love hearts, you can use them for Valentine's Day to decorate the table. I bought these for Christmas Eve, so we are going to be using these to kind of like scatter around the table for confetti. So that's everything that I've got from Hobby Craft. I'm going to carry on with the Christmas theme. So I'm just going to show you the two bits that I picked up in DM this week. I'm losing everything. So this is what I found, which I thought was really, really nice. So it's a oil burner or a wax knot burner. And I thought it was just really, really lovely. I love that it's wood. And then you've got the white dish at the top and then you've got the little um, tea light holder at the bottom. And I just love it. I love that it's got that 
wooden rustic kind of Scandinavian Christmas feel about it. So yeah, I loved that so much. And that was five pounds. So I can't wait to, I think I'm gonna probably gonna put this in the kitchen. So yeah, can't wait to put my Christmassy wax melts on there and have the house smelling all Christmassy and of cinnamon and apple. Oh, I literally, I can't wait to put all of my Christmassy scents out. I love the house to smell of Christmas. Um, then I've got these, which I'm really excited to show you guys about. And you're probably thinking, why are you so excited to show me these? Because um, I'm going to tell you my idea for these. So these are £2 for a pack of 20 and they are cake tin liners. So you know how you get like your cake tin and then you put these like cases on the top. A bit like fairy cake cases, you know? So I got these. I don't bake. I'm not very good at baking. I hate it. But I picked these up because, I, first of all, I love the design. It's just got that really, really cute kind of vintage design on it, which I really, really love with the white and all the little bits of Santa and stockings on. So what I plan on using these for is for Christmas movie nights. So for Christmas Eve, Christmas movie nights, I thought, why not use these as snack trays? I thought this would be a great idea to use as a snack tray for me and the kids when we've got a Christmas film on. You could put a hot dog in there, you can have another one for popcorn or, you know, crisps and just have a really nice little snack tray. And then there's no washing up, you just throw it in the bin. I thought this would be the perfect idea to use these for Christmas movie nights and I'm so excited to use them. I really, really am super, super excited. Um, so yeah, I'm dead chuffed with these. So if you do Christmas movie nights like I do in your home, Get these for the little kiddies, they'd love them, they'd love to have like a little Christmas snack tray. So yeah, I thought that would be a really, really good idea. Um, I mean, and even Christmas, like on the Christmas table, you know, if you don't want to do tons and tons of washing up Christmas day or, or Christmas Eve, use them to put your takeaways in. Um, and yeah, just use them for like Boxing Day as well. If you have like a buffet, like I do Boxing Day, put all the food in here, it looks nice, it looks pretty, and you've got no washing up to do, so really chuffed with them two pound and they did have other designs as well but this one was my favourite um oh I also got another roll of wrapping paper while I was in there um how many meters you get on here this is actually really good wrapping paper I had this last year 12 meters for a pound which is super super good and it's really nice thick paper because I had this last year do you like B&M's Christmas paper do I have anything else that's Christmassy in here I don't think I have anything else that's Christmassy, so I'm going to show you the other bits that I got in B&M. So I picked up these pumpkin stickers. These were £1.50 a pack. Sometimes I do love to carve a pumpkin, I must say. I do love to carve them with the kids at Christmas. We really, really enjoy it. But sometimes we just buy some pumpkins to have like outside the house for decorations. We don't normally carve them, so I thought these would be nice to stick on the pumpkins that we have outside the house on the front porch. So, yeah, how many do you get in here? Decorate your pumpkins without mess, see? <laughs> Include six designs, so I thought that was really, really nice. And these are the designs on the back. I can't believe, like, October is coming around already. I can't believe, like, this time next week it's going to be October. That's just absolutely crazy to me. Where has September gone? I feel like it's just whizzing by so quickly. Um, and again, I'm excited to show you guys these. That's it, that one's empty. <gasps> Look at these. Love these. So these are Marshmallows Toasting Kit, which I thought was really, really good. So we bought a fire pit. You guys would know if you've been watching my videos that I bought a fire pit from <coughs> Asda. And we got that reduced to two pound, two pound. Gosh, look at me. I wish I got it reduced to two pound. I got it reduced to 10 pound for 20. And we've not actually used it yet, so we've not even had the logs on or anything. We've got the fire pit and we've got the logs, and we've just yeah, really been waiting for an excuse to use it. So I thought we would use it like on the first of October because that's when we're gonna have our like Halloween Hocus Pocus movie night, which I'm super super excited for. And I've been going around the shops, and every time I've been in the shop, I keep forgetting to get marshmallows. So super happy when I saw these in BM. I love the fact that they've come in this little tube. So you get the marshmallows and you also get the sticks as well, which I think is really, really good. And the price of £2, which I think is mega, mega cheap. I'm so, yeah, absolutely thrilled with these. So I thought I would use one of these for the Hocus Pocus movie night. And then I thought we would use one for 
bonfire night. So I got two for that. And then I got another one because Jessica is having her birthday party on the 15th, 15th or 16th of October. And she's having a movie party. So we're having it at home. We're just going to put the movie projector on, get some hot dogs and some popcorn and stuff. So I thought her friends and her would really enjoy doing this as well. Have some marshmallows in the garden. And, and I just think doing a movie party at home is just a really fun, cheap alternative to like having a party outside because we were looking at like party venues at like flip out and stuff like that. And we were being quoted like three to four hundred pounds for a two hour party, which to me just seems absolutely ridiculous. I just see it as, you know, so much a waste of money. Um, and there's so much, you know, stuff that, that we could get for that. So I just feel like having a party at home it's just so much more cheaper and you can have fun like you don't have to spend loads and loads of money so yeah i really think that the kids are gonna love these i'm gonna love toasting these as well actually so really looking forward to that so if you do have little ones and you do have like fire pit or whatnot get these for the kids for bonfire night they're gonna absolutely love them for two pound um or even if you don't have a fire actually could you use these at home could you like use them in the kitchen like on the gas cooker and just like Heat them up over the gas cooker over the hall. You probably could, to be fair. You don't have to have a fire pit. Um, and then one on the subject of Halloween popped into my local Poundland, and I picked this up, which I really like. So it's a door cover, and it's like a witch's cauldron, and all of her potions are like on the shelf. I loved that. It was only a pound, and I thought I would use that as a backdrop for like Halloween and for like the Hocus Pocus film night. I thought it'd be a nice. Um, backdrop for a pound and if you were to get like two or three you could have like a whole like wall scene on your wall which I thought was really really nice and super super cheap for a pound so I've got one of those um, and I've also got just two little spooky ghost um like inflatables just for like to add for decoration so yeah they were um a pound each as well I think that's it for like Christmas and Halloween wise um so I just want to show you a couple of little bits that I've got in Primark that I thought were really cheap, so I thought I would share it with you guys. So I've got these pyjamas for Jessica. If you guys know how much I begrudge, <laughs> how much I begrudge paying, you know, stupid amounts of money for pyjamas. So I was over the moon when I saw these, and you guys aren't going to believe the price. So you get the grey trousers, and they're really, really pretty, like minty green top, and it's long sleeve as well, so perfect for winter. And they were only £3.50 a pack. Can you believe it? £3.50. I couldn't believe it myself. I did have to keep like checking. I thought, oh, maybe they put the wrong sticker um, on the pyjamas. So I then turned it around and sort of like, no, it is actually £3.50. But I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't believe the price of these. Like Kitty's pyjamas for £3.50. Super, super cheap. So I got her a pair of these um, because for her birthday party, like she's going to be doing it there, like everyone's going to wear pyjamas, so I thought this would be really, really lovely. Um, these are size 8 to 9, they also went up right up until age 13 to 14 year olds, and they were still priced at £3.50. So if you have got a Primark near you, it is worth having a look around the pyjama section if you can find these for £3.50. Absolute bargain, and I love the colour as well, I really love the colour. Um, and then I also just got her... Two, pair, two pairs of um, fluffy socks as it's getting winter now and it's getting a bit nippy in the morning so I thought I'd get her some nice cosy fluffy socks and they've got like the sticker grip bits on the bottom as well which is really really good because we've got wooden flooring and these can be super super slippery so you get two pairs for £1.80 which I think is really really cheap um, then I've also got these bargain blankets so these were so let me show you so these were supposed to be four pound, but as I went to the checkout to pay for these little bits, these were all like standing up in a basket and they had like a reduced um, sign on it. So these were actually reduced to two pounds each. So these are the like neutral beige colour ones. They also had like dark grey and they also had a baby pink. I thought for two pounds, you know, you can't really go wrong for these. So I thought I'll get two, put them on the sofa. Keep the, cup, uh, keep the sofa clean, keep it all covered so you don't get any food stains on it or anything like that. Um, and then also, you know, when it gets cold, you can pull them off, put them under your legs on the couch for £2, like for blankets. I mean, I think I probably should have got some more, considering how much like the gas and electric's going to go up this year. I don't even think we're about, anyone's going to be able to afford to have these on. So 
I think I probably should have got some more of these. Um, and yeah, you could get them to put on the kids' beds or your beds in the winter to keep you a little bit more warmer. But for two pounds, you can't really complain, can you? Two pounds for blankets. I've started to wish that I did get a grey one now for Jake's bed and a pink one for Jessica's bed. I might have to go back because it's actually not that far from me. So I might have to go back and get two more for the kids' beds just to keep them that little bit more warmer for the winter. But yeah, how good is that for two pounds, guys? Really happy with that. I do love to get a bargain. It feels so much joy when I find a bargain. Um, and then I've also got this little t-shirt in there when I was there. I just thought it was really, really lovely. So I picked that up when I was there for Jessica. That was only, it was £2.30. It's really, really cute. Yeah, I thought she'd love that to put under her jumper. Um, then I've just got some birthday bits when I was in Thailand while I was there, just to stick away for Jessie's birthday. So a pack of balloons, um, a really nice birthday banner. I love the colour. I'm trying to stick to this rose gold colour this year. So I've got that for a pound. And I also got some helium balloons as well for a pound each, which I thought was really, really good. Um, and then I've got this little hanging sign. I love the colour of it. I think it's going to look so pretty when it's all up. Yeah. And just a pack of boy blue tack, which I'm going to need for Halloween and stuff to like be sticking all these posters and things up. Um, so yeah, that's everything I did get from these shops. I'm trying to think where else I've been um, and what hauls that I've got coming up for you guys. Um, oh, I have got um, my Wilco haul coming up for you guys, showing you their brand new cleaning range. And I've also got a Cherries haul coming up for you as well. I was kindly gifted a box of goodies from Cherries, so I'm going to be popping that on here as well. Um, I also, what else have I got? Oh, I've also got some more Christmas hauls coming your way. I've been back to home bargains and I've been back to the range getting more Christmas stuff. Couldn't resist it, I had to go back and get some more. So I've got all of them hauls coming up for you guys, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, I love showing you guys all of the Christmas bits. Um, so yeah, that is it from me today. Short and sweet, I know. Um, so yeah, I will probably see you guys in my next video. So do stay with me so that you don't miss the videos because you guys are going to absolutely love some of the Christmas buys that I have got. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next haul video. Take care guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.